<laughs> well, it is good to see you again. I haven't seen you for a while, and it's been a busy yeah. time. Yeah, it's been crazy. I don't remember the last time either. I mean, obviously, I don't think even once during the pandemic, probably. No, that was that's yeah. over two years. So I've just been thinking yeah. about that, too. You know, we were kind of talking before, Randy, about how, you know, the early, early days of, of Amy and, and how everything started. And, of course, I didn't come along until 2008. Um, and, right. you know, you guys had started the center um, in 2002, I guess, or probably planning for it before that even. I think 2002 is when we got confirmation of the two centers that were awarded from Ingenuity then. Right. And that was the Glycomic Center and the, um, uh, and the Machine Learning Center. Yes. Right. And so how did you maybe just like, I, guess, I know it was you and, and Jonathan and, yep. and uh, Rob and... and so John, Russ. Jonathan, Rob... Holte, um, Russ Greiner, and I heard about Bill Bridger making the announcement for these centers. And it really got our attention to say, gee, um, we could reduce the time invested in writing grants by a lot. If we could get two million a year for 10 years, um, we could build something sustainable. Yeah. And that's what that program was about, right? The, the strength in computer science and AI at that point was basically logic um, and logic-related based reasoning that Russ and I were doing. Um, Rob Holte doing search and some machine learning, and Jonathan doing game playing. Yeah. And, and the message from Ingenuity was that, well, you guys have to do something novel compared to what you're already doing, and that has a long future and is sustainable. And that was just about exactly at the time that Bill yeah. Gates was quoted as saying, well, if you could get a machine to learn, that would be something. And I think that was in the first paragraph of our proposal. Of your proposal? Uh, yeah. I remember a couple of times wearing the i hat, communicating with other funders and government, yeah. trying to explain um, with two hats on why <laughs> this thing was worth investing in and what they should measure. Yeah. Um, and i developed a kind of a trust with government about what to look at and what to measure and be transparent about. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. And you were part of that for sure because you were you were part of what uh, determined what to be listened to and what to measure. A common question that was asked all the time is, you know, where is this leading? How is this being applied? Yes. You know, and, and a common a common question was, well, this is information communications technology. It's ICT. We should be able to turn this into, yeah. you know, all sorts of companies. Turn it, turn it and, from you know, ideas and, into money, yes. Yeah, and... Yep. You know, I, th I think they thought that it was making websites and, and stuff like that oh, still yeah. in those days. Right. And yep. um, and but what I was convinced of was that, you know, you guys were the best or among the best yep. in the world, certainly the best in Canada and certainly definitely Alberta um, yeah. and was able to sort of always use that as a sort of a selling feature to, to say yep. if we, you know, as we talked about earlier, if you create a sustainable model so that people can spend their time doing the, the things that they should do, the good, solid, yeah, the stuff they're good at, fundamental research, and yeah. instead of chasing grants and instead of chasing, yeah. you know, money and business um, ventures and things like that, then it can grow into something else, right? And so I obviously wouldn't have predicted that it would have got to where it is today, but um, I, I definitely believe that that was the right model to follow. So Jonathan and Russ would all say, well, we should do more advertising and promote ourselves more. And Rich and I were on the other side saying, we are promoting ourselves. Our value is the good work. So do really good work yeah. and, and that will do People it. People will right? notice, yeah, yeah um, And that, sure. that will distinguish us. In the long run, that's proved to be true. But now with the incredible attention that AI machine learning get, gets, um, there's, there's a kind of another wave of insight that's required. And that is understanding the application of what we do to create value. What I've learned in my rich old years is that the real value is working with subject matter experts to make a difference. Let the equilibrium of a group be established by allowing people to do what they do well. So our graduate students have had enormous accomplishments, yeah. um, which has meant that some of us can just stay in our labs and do work yeah. and, and do the stuff training the graduate students. Yeah. We've seen that a lot. Um, especially in the last five years or so, where the emphasis is, is what you might say, what have you done for us lately? That is, where have you applied what you've learned in the yeah. AI lab and how is it changing the world? We're starting to see it change the world 
but not without explaining how and why. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, and I think that what you were talking about with the, you know, training of the grad students and yeah. the, you know, the talent that that is coming, you know, to be in, in the labs here now, um, you know, now with our new model, our new resources we have to do these kinds of things, that's, it's, it's kind of really falling together pretty nicely, right? So we've yes, got the ability absolutely. now to find yes. companies that have subject matter experts that are really looking for the, the skill sets that are being developed in, in your lab and your, your colleagues' labs. Yes. Um, and so we've built the mechanism to, to sort of make that connection, right? Yeah, and, absolutely. And obviously that's what this AI Week celebration is a big part of that, right? We're attracting literally hundreds of, of AI skilled people from around it's, the world to come and, and connect. It's right? amazing so. to me because I wouldn't have predicted in 20 years you would be doing something like celebrating that 20 years with AI week and seeing all of the attention it's getting. It amazes even me. So I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure what I can say and how to participate and I will, but um, it still amazes me that yeah. there's that much attention to it. Yeah, well, it must feel good though. Oh yeah, it, it feels good, it's just... Yeah. It's it's like um, it's like somebody uh, bounced the puck in the net off my butt and it scored, and, <laughs> you, you and I'm get, taking credit. You, you for get it. to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. That's um, a good analogy. I'm not sure I'll get to all of the technical talks because there's so much going yeah, on. Yeah, it's that, a high density week, so. of things going on. But anyway, looking forward to catching up some more when we're when yep. we're there. All right. Okay.